Hi, and welcome to this Google Admin video brought to you by Apps Events and Acer. I'm Charlie Love, and in this video, I'll cover the frequently asked questions about the administration of Google Groups in Workspace. Let's get started. So who can create groups? Administrators with groups privilege can create groups. If you turn on groups for business, you can also grant users permission to create groups. If groups are turned on, then the initial default is anyone in the organization can create groups. You'll probably want to change that if you are an educational establishment. How do I get the full functionality of Google Groups for my workspace domain? The answer is you need to turn on Groups for Business if it isn't already. To check this setting, go to the admin console, Apps, Google Workspace and Groups for Business. Check the service status is on for everyone or on for some if you are configured the service to be on or off for specific OUs. How and where can I create a group? There are several ways to create groups for use in Google Workspace. In a few cases, where you create a group might limit what it can be used for. Communication and collaboration groups, mailing lists, collaborative inboxes, can be created in any location. Groups created anywhere can also be used for policies in Google Cloud. Configuration groups and dynamic groups must be created either in the admin console or using the API. This table shows where different types of groups can be created. Next, can I add people outside my Google Workspace account to groups? Yes, as an admin, you can add external users. Students, teachers, vendors, clients, customers, whoever, you can add them to your groups. You can do this in the Google Admin Console. You can add other Google Workspace accounts from external domains or even consumer Google accounts if you want to. But be careful, your organization may have requirements which mean that external group members are not appropriate for some groups and should be treated as more of an exception. Other people can add external members to groups if you allow external members in the Groups for Business sharing settings. Do groups appear on a user's contacts page? Yes, they do, but only after a user sends a message to the group. The groups a user has sent messages to appear under All Contacts. How do groups you create in Google Groups differ from the Groups feature in Google Contacts. Both Groups and Google Contacts make it easy to email groups of people using mailing lists. The difference is that you can't share mailing lists you create in Contacts. Contact mailing lists are for individual use. Groups have email addresses that can be used by anyone. Can messages to a group be moderated? Yes, they can. You can approve or block new messages before they're sent to the rest of the group using message moderation. Group owners and moderators can turn message moderation on or off and specify which user's messages are required to go through moderation. Posts sent by super admins always bypass message moderation and are posted without requiring approval. Even if the super user sends a message from a delegated non-admin email account. The only exceptions are messages marked as spam. The system does not send those messages. Can I migrate groups from my existing mail system? Yes, you can use Google Cloud Directory Sync, GCDS, to synchronize groups, mailing lists, from your LDAP server to Google Workspace. In fact, check out this video for an introduction to how to use GCDS which includes synchronization of groups from Active Directory to Google Workspace. Is there an API for creating and managing groups? You have two API options for creating groups. These are Google Workspace Admin SDK Directory API and Groups Settings API. The groups you create using the APIs receive specific default settings. Use the Google Workspace Admin SDK Directory API to create, update, or delete a group and its membership. You can complete tasks such as changing the group name, 
assigning a group email address, and adding or removing members. The Google Cloud Identity API can be used to create, update, or delete a group. How does Groups for Business service differ from the free version of Groups? Groups for Business has some key features that are not available in the free version of Groups. As an administrator, you can set sharing options for the Groups for Business service to limit what users can do. For example, you can prevent users from adding members who are outside their organization and prevent people outside their organization from sending email to groups. There is also a company groups directory which lists only the groups for your organization. And finally, the groups for business, you get access to the APIs, which is only available for Google Workspace customers. How do groups created in the admin console differ from groups created in the Google Groups app? Groups created in the admin console can be used as mailing lists, collaborative inboxes, configuration groups, and as dynamic groups. Groups created in the Google Groups app can be used as mailing lists and collaborative inboxes. Will ads appear in Google Groups? No, you won't see ads in Google Groups. Can I use Groups for Business without turning on the Gmail service? Yes, if your organization doesn't use Gmail and your Groups for Business settings allow, your users can still use the features of Google Groups for Business. Users can still send and receive messages to the group using other email clients such as Microsoft Outlook. They can post messages in the Google Groups app, share content such as Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, Calendar and Videos with group addresses. However, using groups with Gmail offers several benefits. For example, you can set up rules and filters in groups to help organize your Gmail inbox. Can I enforce a user's membership of a group? You can control whether users can add themselves to a specific group, but you can't prevent users from removing themselves from groups unless you add all of your organization's employees to a group as a single member. To ensure that users remain members of specific groups, for example, an all employee group, use a script written using GAM to maintain the group or use an LDAP server and periodically synchronize those groups with Google Workspace. And that's our quick FAQ on Google Groups done. If you want more information about Google Groups for Business, please leave us a comment. I'm Charlie Love, and this has been a Google Workspace admin tutorial brought to you by Apps Events and Acer.